Today, it's Texas Tech and Oklahoma State. And now, with all the pregame analysis from the best, this is KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff, sponsored by Terry County Tractor. Good morning and welcome into Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff. David Collier alongside Mason Hordisky. This morning, for the next half hour, we get you ready for the home finale for the Red Raiders tonight at 7 o'clock against 9-1 and Oklahoma State. Should be a fun game. Should be a fun show as mm -hmm. long as we just don't talk about the officiating in the Big 12, right? I'm not talking about it. You can't talk about it because you might get suspended. <laughs> I don't want to do the show alone. All right, coming up, Donovan Smith gets the nod from Sonny Cumby to start under center. We hear from him and his teammates about the redshirt freshman's poised command of the offense. Also ahead, you thought Iowa State's defense was tough? Get ready for the best the Big 12 has to offer in Oklahoma State. And the best Red Raider Nation has to offer a little bit later. Fill in the blank with everything Lubbock.com's Phil Mayer. First, we start with this series, all-time series, which is this is a 49th meeting between these two schools. Red Raiders have a one-game advantage over the Pokes looking to make it a third win in the last four meetings between these two as well. Meanwhile, a career high in passing yards, rushing yards, and touchdown passes last week. And as we mentioned, Donovan Smith rightly getting the nod to start again for Texas Tech this week. Smith's coming out party was enough to catapult him into that QB1 slot against the Cowboys, and for good reason. Smith's ability to stay calm under pressure, even as a freshman, has been enough to impress interim head coach Sonny Cumbie and some of his Red Raider teammates as well. We're going to have to be able to, you know, protect Donovan well. Um, he's going to have to be able to, to get the ball out of his hand accurately and quickly. Um, and, and, you know, I thought he handled the rush against Oklahoma pretty well. Um, and, and at times you saw against Iowa State, he handled it well. Um, you know, really going to work with him on his pocket presence this week just as far as where his help comes from um, in the protection and then also in the pocket. His pocket presence has been incredible. And uh, I was blown away by playing with him, you know, because I've, I've been through a couple quarterbacks here, so I, I can tell the difference between, you know, confidence and, you know, just throwing it up. And I can see that he's very confident in himself. Yeah, as good as the defense was against Smith last week, this Cowboys squad is a completely different animal. The Cowboys, bar none, boast the best defense in the entire Big 12 so far this year. They lead the nation in sacks with an average of 3.7 of them per game. They have the nation's leader in tackles with Malcolm Rodriguez, which surely will put Smith and the offense to test yet again. Here's why Sonny Cumbie thinks they've been so deadly this year. Defensively, they're a lot more multiple with their front. Um, you know, and then really on the back end as well, they're a little bit more man coverage than what we saw last week. Um, their defensive front is, is, is really big. They're hard to move, very disruptive. And they've played a ton of football on their secondary and really their defensive front, their defense as a whole, they're playing faster. They, they play really well together on defense. Um, and so those are the things that stand out to you. They're great on third downs. It's going to be a big challenge for us to convert for third downs to stay on the field. And I think the biggest thing you, you look at them and you say, what is their strengths? Is yes, they're good at every position group, but they play really well together and they're on the same page. All right, now time to fill in the blank. Phil Mayer joins us. Phil, we saw Donovan Smith look Miles Price's way a lot this past week. It's blank that makes Price such a dangerous weapon for the rest. His Raiders. versatility. Uh, and you might see Miles Price's frame and expect him to be more of a slot receiver, you know, a guy who catches screens, gets open for shorter throws. But he's shown this year that he's really the full package. Price had nine catches for 175 yards last week, and he really did it all, including burning his man deep on a post route for a touchdown and holding on through that hard hit to convert a critical third down in the fourth quarter. Price is also dangerous with the ball in his hands. We've seen Sonny Cumbie use plays like sweeps and bubble screens to get him the rock in space. I also think Price's emergence can help out someone like Eric Azukama. We've seen teams double team easy after he had that huge start to the season. Not as easy to do that when you have a guy like Price capable of torching you for a buck 75. Yeah, and you mentioned it, catching the ball when he got hit so hard it might have been target. Oh, we can't talk about oh, that. No, no, nope, no, 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 watch your mouth, watch All right, Sorry, my bad. All right, time for our first break here on Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff. We'll zip it up. We're, we're good, I promise. Don't find us or suspend us. Up next, we visit with our friends from OKC for a closer look at the pokes in the breakdown. And later, headlines and over-unders. It's another round of board games coming up right after this. <laughs> 